In this video, I want to share with you this very interesting gear that can turn every lens into a macro lens. Every lens has a minimum focus distance. It means that if your lens gets too close to an object, you won't be able to focus on it. So this is why today I want to share with you this very useful gear. So here I have two extension tubes. This one is 10 millimeters and the other one is 16 millimeters. You can use them separately or together. So according to how close you want the object to be, you can decide to use 10, 16 or 26 millimeters. The longer it is, the closer it can get. So now I'm mounting the tube on my camera along with my TT Artisan 50 millimeters lens. And I would like to show you what I can achieve with this extension tube. I can use these extension tubes when I want to shoot close-up of toys, plants, insects, etc. And without these extension tubes or a dedicated macro lens, I will have to crop in the image a lot and the image quality just won't be as good. And this is what it looks like with the lens itself, no extension tube. I love this TT Artisan 50mm lens a lot, but one thing that bothers me a little is that I always have to stay quite far away from the object in order to focus correctly. And in this example, I'm using f5.6 ISO 1600 and shutter speed 1 over 40. So this is how it looks like when I attached the 10 millimeters extension tube. And now I'm using the 16 millimeters extension tube. You can see that the distance between the lens and the object is a lot closer. And finally, this is when I attached the 10 and 16 millimeters. So now I have 26 millimeters of extension tube and you can see that the image quality is still pretty good with the edges being a little bit softer but I think it is acceptable. And I also want to show you another set of photos in order to demonstrate the image quality. So I used the same settings to take photos of this little cork and this is how they look like with no extension tube and then 10 millimeters, 16 millimeters and then both extension tubes. I don't have a dedicated macro lens so I can't tell you how the quality is compared to it but I think they look pretty good. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of extension tubes. First, it is very, very cheap compared to a dedicated macro lens. This one I bought comes with two extension tubes in one box and it costs less than 40 US dollars. And a dedicated macro lens can usually cost you more than 500 or 600 dollars. Another advantage of extension tube is that they are very compact and lightweight. So you can put them in your pocket and you don't have to worry about breaking them. The image quality is decent and they are pretty easy to use. And what are some of the downsides of extension tubes? I think before you buy an extension tube or a dedicated macro lens, you should know that macro photography requires you to master the control of light. When you are using extension tubes, a large aperture just won't help because 
in most cases you will have to use smaller aperture um, according to my experience at least smaller than f4 or even f5.6 and in most cases you will have to slow down your shutter speed and increase your ISO because the extension tubes will cut in light that comes to the sensor. But other than that, I don't think there's any other disadvantage of extension tubes. So if you are not familiar with macro photography, but you want to give it a try, I would highly recommend using an extension tube before you invest in a dedicated macro lens which will very likely cost you 10 times more. It is very fun to use. You can do all kinds of experiment with it, even without leaving home. So I'm currently working on a video about how different lenses perform with extension tubes. So if you're interested, please subscribe and stay tuned so you won't miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.